If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, October 7th, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Kathleen Baker is our guest for today's show. To say she had a great summer in the pool is a major understatement. The 17-year-old swam at the Pan Pacific Championships in August and will be part of Team USA at the Short Course World Championships in Qatar this December. To make things more exciting, she made her college choice recently, picking the California Golden Bears as the team she'll represent. To talk about that and much more, let's bring in Kathleen Baker in the Finis Monitor from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi, Kat. Kathleen, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. So, uh, you know, as I said, you know, had, say you had a great summer was an understatement, but 2014 has just been really good for you. Second at Nationals in the tuner back, got to go to Pan Packs, now you're going to Short Course Worlds. Did you have any inkling when 2014 started that you were going to have a year like this? Um, well, I knew this was going to be a very big year because at Nationals, you're going to have like all of the qualifying like meets for the whole next year and a half. So this year, I really tried to stay focused and I worked like extremely hard in the pool and fixed a couple of like our technique errors that I knew I needed to get to move on to the next level. So. It was a goal in the back of my mind all summer to at least make pan packs, and that was really surprising to make it in the 200, and so it was just a good meet. So you talked about some of the little technical area areas that you were going to be fixing this year. Talk about some of those. Um, a lot of like my turns, I'm trying to improve, still improving, because that's where I tend to get behind on, but we're making some corrections as we go, and like making sure my underwaters are where they are, and long course, because sometimes I tend to lose them when we switch from short course to long course, because there's not as much focus on them. So I'm definitely trying to work on that, and just being able to strategize, I guess, in a race, and like not just go out from the beginning and try to hold on, and at least try to have some race strategy when you swim. Well, talk about, you know, going out fast and holding on. It looked like you went out fast in that 200 back at Nationals. Now, you know, I want to talk about that a bit. I mean, you're out in lane one. I don't think anybody was paying a lot of attention to you. I mean, everybody was focused on, you know, Elizabeth Beisel slipped on the start, Missy Franklin, you know, everybody picked to win. And then here you are out in lane two. Your team, your swim back teammates are going crazy on the sidelines. And here you go touching first. You know, going into the final, did you – expect to, to be able to make the pan pack team did you think second place was possible um not really in the two back that was sort of just swimming it and i had no idea where anyone was during that race but i could see like my coaches and teammates cheering for me so i like figured i was probably doing pretty good but i couldn't see at all so it was like a complete shock when i touched the wall yeah probably if you had been in lane two you wouldn't have had to, you wouldn't have been able to see your coaches so you'd have been just been like oh this is doing all right yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you got to, it got you on the Pan Pack team and said it get you on the Short Course Worlds team. So uh, this is not your first, this year wasn't your first major senior level meet. You got to swim in the duel in the pool last year. Great swimming there. Got third in the tour back. Um, tell me how, you know, you, that experience prepared you for being a part of the Pan Pacific Championships. Well, I think I learned a lot from other swimmers and just watching them and how they conduct themselves. And I think I picked up on that, on to like how different that is from junior level meets to senior level meets. And so I think that helped going into Pan Packs, being able to like at least know a couple people and feel a little bit comfortable going into as well, like knowing people and like knowing how to act and everything. So I really enjoyed doing the pool and it was probably the most exciting meet I've been to. And I would imagine you... Uh, even going to Junior Worlds last year, you know, it's still not even the same kind of meet that Pan Pax was. Would you agree with that? Uh, not at all, but I mean, it like got me used to at least like waiting in a ready room for like 25 minutes before my race and like the little more structure that international meets have that like the U.S. meets don't always have. How much did it help you to have a lot of your swim Mac teammates in Australia as well as Coach Marsh?
um, super helpful because they, if I needed anything, they were there for me. And especially Coach Marsh was definitely super supportive and made sure I like knew what was going on and was always there to help me if I needed something in warm ups, which is great to have like on an international like level meet because you're not always going to have that. So it's good to have like my coach there on my like first, I guess, like big international meet and definitely good to have a lot of my like teammates and friends there as well. So talk about your experience at Pan Pax. You know, obviously there was a, issues with the weather, not the greatest conditions there, but you know, it's still, you know, you want to swim your best at your first big senior level meet. So talk about your experience in terms of nerves, you know, stepping up against the best in the world and things like that. Um, I was definitely super nervous for all of my races. Like, not only like racing the people from the US, but like racing the best in the world, like from Australia or Canada or like Japan. It was definitely something new, but the weather was a little bit chilly, but I think we all got used to it by the end and we're like learning that we need to wear our parkas until they blow the second whistle and then just take them off right behind the blocks and definitely wearing my gloves and scarf out every time. But we got used to it, but it was a lot of fun. And you got to um, spend some, I know you didn't pick your, your, your make your college choice until after Pan Packs, but you got to, you know, hang out with some Cal Golden Bears, Missy Franklin, Rachel Bootsma, Pelton, Terry McKeever was there. Um, you know, obviously Terry has had a great history of um, cultivating some great backstrokers in history. Uh, how much did that tradition um, factor into your decision to go to the University of California? I think so, but um, overall I just sort of knew that's where I fit and um, getting to learn about each college I was looking at and definitely looking at how their training works and how their team dynamic is and that's just sort of where I like fit in and I really like to get to watch Terry at Pan Pax and I just got to like observe how she like talked to her swimmers and coach which was definitely like helpful. Well talk about uh, you know the training that you're gonna you're gonna have there I mean backstrokers you know just all across the pool is that uh, something that you're not used to do you have a, use a big group of other backstrokers you train with now um, I'm not used to like a ton of backstrokers but that's something I'm really looking forward to getting to like race every day with the best and like definitely learn from everyone there I get such a high level like college academically and swimming wise so I'm really looking forward to that well, we know uh, a lot of the elite swimmers at Swim Mac post grad or post grads, Ryan Lochte, Tyler Clary, and all those, and Camille Adams, and many, many others. Uh, do you get to train with them at at all during the week? Um, I train with them almost every day. I go back like once, maybe twice a week to train with like our senior level people to see my friends and definitely keep like a social aspect part of swimming to train with my own age. But most days I'm with elite. Yeah, that must be. Must be a very different atmosphere, not just in terms of the, the speed of the swimmers, but just the conversations going on in terms of the post grads and your and the kids that are your age. <laughs> definitely, it's something I've uh, gotten used to the past year or so, but it's definitely a big difference. It's kind of just like I'll just plug my ears now. You got to talk <laughs> about what you want. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so you know, we've been talking about how great your backstroke is. I mean, you're still great in other strokes, great in the 200 IM. Um, in terms of backstroke training, in a, I'd say a, a particular workout, how much percentage of backstroke would you do? Um, usually not, like some days I don't even swim backstroke in like a practice. I try to do like every stroke, I train almost the same because um, I'm really like looking to be not just a backstroker and I enjoy doing a lot of the other strokes as well but like if there's like a main set and like coach Marshall want me to do a backstroke we'll do that but like I swim fly breast and free like yesterday we did an all free set and some days we'll just do an IM set so it just depends on which day it is and we just especially me I like to mix in every other stroke with it. Well, do you have any idea of what the workout's going to be this, this afternoon? I think we're doing a kick set. We do like a test kick set every Friday, so I'm looking forward to that because I really like to kick. <laughs> Friday seems to be the day for kicking for some reason on, on a lot of teams. I don't know why that is. I guess you, I don't know, the end of the week, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird, mm -hmm. but that's, that's the way to go. Uh, <laughs> well, before we let you get to workout, Kathleen, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions that we ask our guests on the Morning Swim Show. So the first question for you is, which swimming celebrity would you like to trade lives with for one day? Um, probably, 
I'd say Missy Franklin just because I'd like to see how she deals with all of like everyone knows who she is and she's like closer to my age and how she deals with all of that. Okay. Well, you're going to get to see it close up pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Next question. Which non-swimming celebrity would you like to trade lives with for one day? Um, probably Jennifer Lawrence from the Hunger Games. I think she's pretty funny and like a cool person, I guess. Yeah, she is. Never, <laughs> I don't know her personally, but I would agree with you there. Um, besides this year, what's a year of your life you would like to relive? Um, probably when I was 12. I like really did a great swimming year and had a lot of fun and had a good school year. So I think I'm going to go with 12. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite movie? Um, uh, Fulton or Stars, I really liked that one this summer. We saw that as like a whole team on Swim Max, so that was good to see. Probably need, did you take a lot of Kleenex with you? It was, a big it was really sad. Um, the girl next to me saw it for like an hour. I tried to hold it together for most of the movie, but you know, a couple spots were pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, yeah, it's a very sad movie. Um, last question for you What's your favorite season? Uh, winter. I like the snow and I like sweaters and scarves. Well, there's no snow in Berkeley, so you have to get used to not seeing <laughs> that. That's okay. It's okay. It's still a great city to be in. All right, Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, congratulations on a great year so far. We we'll look forward to see how it ends at the Short Course World Championships. Thank you so much. All right. And our thanks to you as well for watching today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. Be sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date on the latest in aquatic sports news. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.